I'm not afraid to go to jail. I, I'm afraid to be incarcerated. Okay, if you don't know who that is that I'm showing you, batteries might die by the way, and I might have to change them. You know, I want this to be a one take, and you pay me in gay, but, but anyways, the video, he was talking in his other video called Koi Rams. Um, he's been on YouTube since it pretty much started, and now, since of last year, YouTube has done this stupid thing just for kids, just for kids, just for kids. Because you parents don't know how to parent your fucking kids and you bitched and complained about what your kids were watching on YouTube. When you could just when you could just record or what you could do is pick out videos that are just for your kids and download them your goddamn self, put them on your computer yourself and click on them your goddamn self and say, there you go, Johnny, there you go, there's your video, and let them watch it that way. Or you can get them off of watching YouTube videos and TV and have them watch and have them act and actually be a mother and take care of your kid. When I was watching my nephew since he was born and he started getting into TV and stuff, we would have the TV on in the background to listen to, but I wouldn't have him glued to that TV watching it 24-7 so I could be on my computer or do other things. No, I got the fuck off my computer when watching my nephew, and we, we wouldn't watch, you know, YouTube or the TV. We would have it on in the background, but we wouldn't be watching. We'd be listening to music and that's how he got into um Corbin Blue's Push It song and I also got him into High School Musical cause he loved Get Your Head in the Game song and we're all in this together but we didn't really, he didn't really just sit there or stand there and watch that TV we would, I would say, hey, let's go play with your toys. Hey, let's go do this. Hey, let's go on a walk. Hey, let's c do some coloring. Couldn't get that man, couldn't get that little boy to love, to color, do art whatsoever. He loved to build with Legos and stuff. So I'd be like, hey, let's get out your Legos and let's build and let's do this and let's do that. And now, now that he's 15 with autism, so it puts him back a few years so he feels like he's in the body of a seven-year-old or a mind of a seven-year-old I should say and he's doing really good he doesn't hardly ever get on the computer he plays with his toys he builds with Legos he does his transformers and he likes pipe cleaners so he can make his own little creations with his pipe cleaners he loves all that kind of stuff and once in a blue moon he'll be like hey can I get on the computer and we're like yes and he knows what he can and cannot watch on YouTube and he looks up at stuff himself he finds certain things we check on him we look at his history to make sure he's looking at what he's supposed to be looking at and he's doing just fine but if you just sit there and go, well, I got to get these taxes done. Or, you know, I I got to get these dishes done. Or I got to get this vacuuming done. Instead of doing it when um, your kid's asleep because you don't want to make all that noise because it might wake the baby. Then get a babysitter. Say, hey, do you mind watching my kid while I vet? vacuum and and do the dishes really quick and you just, or you can just say hey mom you want to come over and see your grandson or granddaughter for a little bit while I get some a couple of things done and then you go and enter, and and hang out with them too well whatever you know but don't be like Oh, I need to get this stuff done. So, here, Johnny, just sit right there. Here, here's my phone. Um, 
yeah, just watch whatever. Here's YouTube. Watch this video. And then that video is over with and you don't realize it. And you're like, yeah, go to the next one. Or you do a playlist and that playlist isn't correct. And he's watching something he shouldn't watch. So then you bitch and complain at YouTube going, how can you let this happen? How could this be allowed? Well, what you don't know, bitch, it's still allowed. We're still allowed to make our own playlists and say these are all the videos for kids in the playlist. Like, videos that are just for kids, we can't even put, you're not supposed to be allowed to put them in a playlist. So your kid can't just binge watch anything. And so certain videos don't end up in a playlist that shouldn't be there. Well, you can still put things in playlists. You just can't do it the right way. You can't just click on a video and go, oh, I like that video. Save, click, playlist, because it won't let you. But what you can do is you can look up this, you can copy and paste the same ti the title of the video, place in the search, find that video in the search, and then go over to the right side, click up the dot, three dots, and say click, and say save on a playlist. And you can do it that way. Or if, or you can go to the YouTube's, YouTuber's channel, go to their videos and go, oh, I like this video, I'm going to put it in the playlist. You go to their videos and click with the three dots and do the same thing. And they haven't patched those yet. It's like you only did it in one area. So you really didn't do. And, and they probably did that on purpose to say, for the smart people that know how to figure this out. And do this. Because they want to make the parents happy, but they don't want to piss off everybody. Well, guess what? You are pissing off everybody. And then you say, oh, I don't know how to fix that. Don't lie, YouTube. Do not lie and sit there and say, Oh, I'm sorry that your channel got flagged for Just For Kids when it's not Just For Kids. I don't know how to how to fix that. So then you're forcing them to make another channel. And, and that's bullshit. Because... Yet, you gotta realize... Just because they're in a vlog, just because they're vlogging their their children and showing them what their kids are doing the, during the day, most of the time they're just vlogging, each. the parents are just vlogging each other, mostly, and once in a blue moon, they may want to vlog their child for memories and, and stuff like that and to show you what they're up to. And, oh my god, that's just, there's kids in this video, oh my god, we gotta flag it for, just for kids, even though little fucking kids will not want to watch those fucking videos no fucking kid is going to go ooh mommy they're vlogging and they have kids i want to watch that vlog with the kids and watch what those kids are doing no they're gonna be bored as fuck watching a kid play in the sand watching that kid talk or draw or whatever the kid's doing in that video they want to see cartoons and listen to kitty songs like Baby Shark Doo 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 Doo. They're not going to want to sit there and watch a vlog. No kid would. And no kid is going to want to sit there and go, Ooh, it's Hanson! Mommy, I want to watch Hanson! I want to watch them sing a song about girls that I don't even understand what, what they're singing about. But I want to watch... No. They're not gonna, they're not gonna ask for that. Because, they're not gonna ask for that shit. Hanson is for adults. Hanson sings about adults. Also, YouTube, Hanson drinks beer. They're not for kids at all. They drink beer, they cuss, and not hardcore, and not all the time, and not in every video, but they do. And they sing about love and girls and their wives, you know, and their kids. They don't have time. 
No, not Jojo Siwa, who's fucking 17 years old and still acts like an 8-year-old and dresses like an 8-year-old and tells people how cool they are and how, how Sparkles is the bomb. And no, she's for, she's doing that for kids because that's her fan base. Even though I think she's fucking 17 and needs to grow the fuck up. And when she's not on camera or with little kids, she needs to be a teenager and dress like a teenager. But then again, you can dress any way you fucking want. She dresses like that 24-7 and I think it's stupid. I still think in my mind there's a secret out there that we don't know about her. And it's not the gay thing that she talked about. But I think it's because when she's not on camera, she takes out her bobo, her bow from her hair. And she dresses like a teenager and doesn't wear any merch of her own or nothing. And that she actually has a teenage room. And then when she gets on camera, she fakes it for us and says she always wears her face on her shirt. And wears bows and, and her room is always deck, decked out in her face and all this stuff. And she shows a room that looks like Harley's been touched or, or Harley's been, you know, lived in. It's just for show. And then when the camera's off, oh, we go to this other room that she won't, that it's secret. She won't show us. Or that whole house is a fake for for Jojo's family to use for YouTube and stuff and then they have another house that is just not have to, is just normal the way they like to live you know that's what I think but I could be wrong still she f that's not the point of this video she for kids Koi rooms is not for kids and you should not make his vlog channel live each day for kids and not let us. What really sucks is he's been making videos on there for months. And I don't even know that he is. Because the bell notification is now gone. You won't at least let us have notifications to know that that video, there's a new video out. And Koi's still making videos of it. What Koi needs to do is either make a new channel to fix that or make a video on the channel that doesn't have it just for kids and say, hey, I just wanted to make this quick video to say there is a video out today. I just uploaded it called Sun Such. Please go watch it. And then we will click the link that he gives us in the description or on a comment. Click on it. Go to that channel and watch that vlog. And then since we can't comment over there because it's jams my cans. We could use that comment section where he told us, hey, go to this channel to watch this vlog. It's out now. We can comment there. Or he can make a Discord. And please, when you make a Discord server, don't always at everyone, at everyone. That is so annoying. Because even if you have that channel muted, or you, or that server muted, or a certain room muted, you still add everyone. And when you add everyone, it notifies everyone, no matter if the channel, if the server, or if the room is muted or not and I think that's ridiculous and stupid what you need to do is make a server not add everyone the only time you add everyone is when your video goes up and when your video goes up then people can comment underneath it to let you know about that video and what they think and blah 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 because I think it's stupid that you have to let's premiere this vlog and that way, if we premiere this vlog, that way people can. 
if we premiere this vlog, then people, can, then I'll know what people are saying in the chat. Because it's like me going live. Anyways, I'm going to get going. Talk to you guys later. Later, haters.